This is Logan Bruce, and I'm here with a little bit of a tutorial from Rigbone Records. Uh, this is a technique that Ruggedbot Romeo actually got me caught on to, but he's been working with Self Made Orange by Changmo. I'll give you some information down in the description if you want to check out the full track by Changmo featuring Super B. But this track I have split using Isotope to a bass track, a percussion track, a vocals track, and I believe the other is just other. I think that's what they call it, but it's basically all the other instruments that aren't picked up. I'm kind of, I'm getting into the point where I'm ready to, to take my stem separation to the next level. Uh, obviously, just like Ruggedbot, I'm a, I'm a I'm new to this, uh, fairly new, and uh, I don't claim to be a fantastic music producer. I just do this for fun, and I hope that I can meet other people that are the same way. But anyway, Rigbone Records, uh, Logan Bruce here, and I've taken that track, that Self Made Orange track, separated it down, and this is the bass line. You'll be able to see here in just a second, or you'll be able to hear that the bass line, it sounds rough, um, and the, this first part right here is actually, it doesn't have a rhythm, really, it's just, anyway, let's, let's, let's play through this first little part. Alright, so that part right there, you could tell there's not much of a rhythm, it doesn't feel like anything but random sound. So if you look a little bit further on in the track, you'll see it didn't pick up any bass through here and through here. But if you look at the track a little bit further down, oops, too far, right here, let's, you'll, you'll hear and see that it picks up a little bit. And we're gonna play through a little bit of that. So you can hear that bass clip. We're going to go back over. You can see where I've got it looped. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I broke that up. You can see this piece right here, I've moved. I kept zooming in like so, where you've just dragged down from the bar here. Drug it to the point where this matched up to the beginning of a segment of this beat. And then I clipped it, you know, cut it right there and drug it to the beginning. Let me zoom this back out. I'm really bad at using this bar right here. It's one of my least favorite things. So if any of you know a better way to navigate, zooming in and out, like a quicker way, let me know and I will, I'll hook you up with some exclusive samples and beats from Rigbone Records. But, okay, so I've, I've got this cut. So we're gonna listen to just that piece and you'll see I've got a loop going. Let's go back here and let's try this again. Just just simple. And then I've took this piece right here and put it right here, turned up the volume. I think I actually turned up the volume on the clip. Nope, I didn't. So I kept the clip itself, the gains at zero, but I turned up the the track to six. And let's just listen to that piece. And you'll see where I put that. There you go. Then I took this piece, this quiet piece, and I this one I definitely, I turned up to six. I also turned it up to five, the clip, and I segmented it into two parts here. And we're gonna just listen to that really fast. Simple. 
And now let's listen to what I did here was I took just this first little segment right here and turned it almost into a percussion instead of a bass. And you've got, it, it pops off twice, break, once, break. And then I turned it down right here because I thought it was a little bit overpowering. And then three consecutive. So we're gonna listen to that next. Okay, so now we've listened to that. What I'm going to do now is we're going to put it all together on a loop, and I'm going to let you hear this. And the end product, I mean, I've done no audio, uh, no effects or anything like that, and I think it sounds pretty cool, pretty gritty. It reminds me of Prodigy, like a fire starter or something like that. I don't know if you guys are old enough to know Prodigy. That's back in my younger days, but I've got... All of this stuff is turned on now, and we're gonna listen to it. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. We're gonna listen to it, just the bass line as I've put it together. I don't know what you guys think about that. I'd love to hear your thoughts, but this is just with a little bit of volume correction and cutting it up and using the grid to my advantage because I'm not, not using any plugins for this other than I use the isotope for separating the, the base, but you can do similar with a little bit less control. Uh, there are online options for you to separate tracks like this. So now what we're gonna do you kind of get a feel for what I like. I'm going to add this, just as a simple break beat. And I want you guys to listen to this. I hope you guys dig that because I'm feeling it. Like it, it just feels like someone should be screaming that they're a fire starter, terrific fire starter. So anyway, that was a quick look at how I broke down just the the useless part of the bass from the self-made orange track and I turned it into something that is my own. I'm just simply cutting up this bass line and making it into something unique. Now, if you guys have liked what I've been doing here, please subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff helps me to, to pick up some steam so that we can keep turning out better and better material. Uh, check the description for my website, Rigbone Records, and you're going to see it, that it's developing, but I'm trying to get some free resources out there for you guys. Uh, you can be a Rugged Bot Romeo or a Rigbone Records backer through the site. Uh, by doing that, if you send me your email, I'll make sure to get you access to our exclusive samples that I come up with, which there's some really cool stuff that I've put together and I think you guys will enjoy. Anyway, Anyway, this is Logan Bruce. I'm with Rigbone Records, and we hope you guys have an excellent day and be excellent to each other.